Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to do a experiment today. I was inspired by Fiona Art. She has a YouTube channel and she's in my Facebook group and other acrylic pouring groups on Facebook. And she does the most beautiful dipped flowers which really inspired me to want to try to do it. So today I'm working on 9 by 12 canvas panels instead of a canvas. I'm just trying the canvas panels because it's purely an experiment. So let's see what happens with this. I've got black and white, Artist Loft black and white. I have some bright blue, some deeper blue I mixed up on my own some deeper purple that I added some white to so it's not dark purple and then the blue I added some white to as I've got a big cup of lighter blue it's mixed one to one with Oatrol Easy Flow which is a European company they're gracious enough to give me free product and it's for those people especially that live outside the United States because it is European you can get it on OatralUSA.com. You can get it on Amazon and outside of the country as well. So I'm going to, and I did not add any silicone to any of my paints. I don't really want, I'm not really aiming for cells. I'm just going to spread my base coat out on the panel. And like I said, I mixed the paint one to one with the Oatrol. I did add a little bit of water because they were kind of on the thicker side and I do want them thicker but I don't want them like super thick to where it sticks to your stick so you still want it thicker but not super thick all right And I'm going to heat this just to get rid of any bubbles. And I'm going to put a little bit more here. There's some spots that are lower on the canvas. It will level out. It does not help to put a dirty finger into your white paint, that's for sure. So I'm going to try to lift that dirty area out that I put my finger in. Do it again. I had some dirty fingerprints on my cup and, that's, and it picked up and that's what brought it into the white. So there's some there, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I never, never aim for perfection. It's like a life lesson. Fluid art is like life. Sometimes it can be a big mess and sometimes it can turn out kind of ugly. And then if we keep working and working and getting used to going with the flow and mastering what we do, refining ourselves, we kind of grow out of it and we turn into something quite beautiful. That's very much like life. This can start ugly you just have to keep playing with it, working with it. Don't give up on it. Persevere. And if you keep messing with it and playing with it, you'll eventually get a technique that is really beautiful. That's the only way to do it is to learn by experimenting. Don't be nervous about it. Just play and do. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see up close. So this one is a white canvas. Well, we're doing a white background, and then I'm going to do one with a black background. I want to do the, the white background first, just because there would probably be less mess to clean up. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my... This is a Wilton icing fondant spreader. It's in my Amazon link below my video. If you have a Walmart nearby, you can usually find them in the cake decorating section where they have their Walmart, I mean the Wilton cake products. Walmarts usually have them now. 
So what Fiona did was she did kind of a pattern that looked like a flower and then she did some leafy colors. I just want to do right now just the flower. I am going to pull out my bottles in case this does work. I want to kind of have my bottles ready to do leaves in case the flowers do turn out pretty. Then I'll have my bottles ready to go to do the leaf patterns. So I'm just going to, I'm pretty much going to take my deepest color, which is the blue. Actually, I'm going to bring it in a little bit if I can. She had her video on doing this and she didn't have the way she got her petal shapes and the one that I watched they were not just dots or circles, they were kind of like petal shapes. And she didn't show how she put them on her canvas. So I'm just using my popsicle stick to make the shapes. These paints are kind of one-to-one -one with the oetrol and a little bit of water added. And maybe you also need super thick paint to do this. I am not sure. I'm going to take my finger and just dip in the spots where the blue dripped. I'm not as concerned about the middle as much right now. This would have been pretty with the turquoise as well because I love purple and blue and turquoise together. There's so many combinations that I love. So this is just an experiment and if it works out well then who knows what will come next. Now the question is do I want to put anything in the middle? I don't recall if she did but I think what I'll do is if I have anything in the center that I need to add, I'll do it with my bottles. So there was two ways she did it. She put her plastic wrap on top of it and she also put green for leaves, but I'm going to swipe my leaves just to make it a little bit different. But she put plastic wrap down on it. So we're going to try the plastic wrap. I'm laying it down on the paint. And I'm touching the paint. I'm not pressing super hard, but I am touching, kind of lightly patting. All right, so what she does is she comes up from the corners So that turned out okay. It's kind of a little cattywampus. 
have some spots where I had my drip, so I'm going to try to get those out because I don't want those. I want it to be white. So I'll take my white bottle and just put some drips of white back over where the colors were. I guess the question is, I don't really want to stretch it, but I love the shading of this. That's really pretty. I'm going to see if I can blow. Okay, so it's okay. I'm not like crazy about it. I just wanted to do something different, not quite like hers, but um, now I want to just add some leafy areas. These do have silicone in them, so this will produce some cells on this part. And I also want to do the, the green in the middle. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna drag inward with my skewer on these and leave the center one the way it is. Now I'm gonna take and I have you need a clean paper towel. I'm gonna take this and just swipe it right off the canvas. This one I'm gonna if you press down too hard, it takes it down to the canvas, so you really have to, to be gentle with it. You really have to put just very little pressure. I'm going to use half of it, and I kind of twist my palette knife. So I think I can deal with this. It's not, it doesn't look like hers, but that's okay because I don't, I don't want to copy somebody. I just, I'm inspired by something that I see. I'm just going to do my version of it. With acrylic pouring, you know, it's not like people can really put a copyright on a technique. They can kind of make it their own and make it special, and people can try to achieve that same look. I know that people try to achieve the look of my swiping like I do, the larger swipes with the, um, the feathery look and all that. I don't, that doesn't bother me at all. I'm not bothered by that. I'm all about sharing information. So here it is. I love the colors and the blues. They're really pretty. And I like my little heart-shaped middle section there, too. So there's that one, and then we're going to do a black one. I think this one I'm going to do a little differently. And I'm going to push on the board a little bit, because I didn't before I started, and I wanted to make sure that it's not bending on me.
I'll set, I'm going to go around the little bit of edges that you have on a canvas panel. You don't have a lot, but you do have a little bit of an edge just to make sure the black is there. Because it does have just a little fraction of a edge to it. And you want that edge to be the same color as the top is, even though you know, realistically this would probably get framed. It wouldn't have to. You could sit it on a bookshelf and stand it up and it, you, you could put it on an easel. You would not have to frame it, but a lot of times you might would frame it so your edges wouldn't show anyway. Okay, this time I am going to kind of randomly just put some greens, but then I'm still going to maybe come back and swipe some leaves. I'm not sure. All right, so this time I have a paper towel. And what she did was she went, she squirted it with water. So it's damp. I'll do it a little bit more. And I'm going to squeeze out any water because I don't want it dripping. And I may have dampened it too much, I don't know. But I, I saw her do this with the paper towel. So, how do you do it without <laughs> laying it down not flat? I guess I just have to just lay it across. Okay, I'm just going to pat. And this is like, you can feel how wet it is. I probably wet it too much. I'm not sure, but I feel like I probably wet it too much. You could see through hers, but it was a little bit drier looking. So I'm patting the petal area. All right, here we go. From corner to corner. <laughs> You've got to get it even, apparently. So that didn't work the way I planned, but that's okay. That is still really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do, it took off a lot of my black. I'm just going to trickle my black around 
on the thinner areas. Make sure I have plenty of black on there. So maybe I'll do a balloon in this. So there's some green left. I'm going to take that green out. But So there is a basic balloon smash. That might still be a neat background for something else. Who knows? I'll let it sit and dry. <laughs> 